Are you excited to find a website where you can get custom one-off parts for your Chevy Cruze? Go to supercruises.com today so you can make your ride even better. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to this very rainy edition of Dave's World. So I wanted to film a quick video showing everybody how to data log, and then while I'm data logging, show everyone why data logging is important show how to get the file from the handheld onto the computer and then send it over to your tuner. The reason for data logging is your tuner probably is not even in the same state as you. What data logging allows the tuner to do is see what's going on with your car, make sure the tune is on point, and if there is any problems, they could actually tell if something is wrong with the tune, maybe something's wrong with the sensor, maybe something is wrong on the car that you didn't know about, that's why data logging is important. Pretty much every single time I've made a change on this car, I have data logged and I sent my file out so I can have the car reviewed. And a lot of times I actually had updates sent back because a lot of times they saw something can be uh, tuned better or sometimes they would change something because it was doing something worse. So I thought it would be important to share this with everyone. Okay, so this is your data link connector. Uh, they also call it a DLC. You pretty much want to plug this into the port that's underneath your dashboard. Make sure this is shaped the same and you're just gonna plug it right in. Just like a connector on your computer. Okay, now for the next part, you wanna pick scan tool. You wanna go down to data logging, record data. You're gonna pick E80, that's for the ECM. Currently right now, when you see that timer going on the top, that's basically letting you know that all of the sensors in this ECM are recording data. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go for a drive. The importance of this basically is to record a certain amount of time so your tuner can see what's going on with the engine. Now, if you have a problem at a certain RPM or a certain speed, you should record that in your data log. So for example, let's say you have a problem at 3000 RPMs in fourth gear while traveling at 40 miles an hour. Well, sending a data log while you're sitting in your driveway is not helpful at all. You wanna get the car up to temperature, you wanna get it on the highway or on whatever road it's happening, and you want to record the time while driving that will cover the range of where you have the problem. and when you're finished recording that then what you're going to do is take that file send it over to the tuner let them know what's happening and then they'll be able to see at the same time what's going on in the computer so they can hopefully diagnose what might be going on with your car or they might come back and say hey everything's fine but we made an adjustment and that's it that's why data logging is so important okay when your data logging is finished you're going to hit the x pay attention to the name of your data log this one is called e80 underscore 0044.pld. I'm gonna show you what to do with this file now. This is the next thing you need to do. You have a cable that's usually used for your scanner that goes to your OBD port. But you also have a second cable that came with your handheld that gets plugged in. The other end of this gets plugged into your computer. You'll see now that your handheld is powered up. The next thing you wanna do is go to the options menu Go down to File System, and then pick USB Thumb Drive. Once you pick USB Thumb Drive, leave the scanner looking just like this. The first thing I always do is create a folder on my computer basically for backing up my data log. So when I take the file off of the handheld, that's where it's going to go. Now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to locate the handheld. It's called EFI Live. You're going to scroll down basically like you have a memory card plugged into your computer. Open up the EFI Live folder. You're going to look for whatever file your data log is named and that's the file you're going to copy over into your folder. I always have a folder on the computer. You should do the same thing. Now you can see here mine is in the folder. It's the same one that was actually on the handheld when we were data logging in the car. So the final part of this is going to be basically open up an email. You're going to uh, Use whatever email you want, but you're going to have to email your data log specifically to uh, Bad News Racing. 
Uh, so you want to send that data log to their customer service email or their data log email, uh, which you can see that I'm typing in right now. I can't remember which one it is. It'll tell you in their instructions on their website or they'll respond and then tell you, you know, hey, this is the wrong one. Use this one from now on. And you're literally going to drag that file from the folder that you created right into the email. Email that over and let them review your data log. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go.